Hey folks. Well, take a look at that. Uh, I'm doing this video on close to midnight on Monday, uh, February 26th, 2024. And earlier today, I had the second of what's probably going to end up being three of the PRP injection surgeries on my wrist and in my digits and stuff where I have a little case of tendonitis that I got last year. Figured I'd do another uh, quick little health update video um, talking about a few things. So uh, for those of you who didn't see, because uh, I posted a drawing on my uh, my Twitter a little while ago, is I actually tried drawing for the first time in about two and a half months this past weekend. Um, the last bit of drawing that I did was, uh, which I shouldn't have been doing, quite frankly, was back in December, because uh, I got the first PRP surgery in the middle of December, right before I went away for the holidays. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, it had been killing my soul the last several, several weeks to not be able to draw at all. Um, I've been feeling very creatively energized and wanting to just put stuff on paper or on you know, Clip Studio or whatever, and I wasn't able to. But I was feeling okay enough, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot. So I did a few drawings over the last couple days. I did not push myself too hard, uh, just because I you know, wanted to be as careful as possible. I did a few drawings and I was okay. And I felt, okay, I'm feeling hopeful about actually being able to recover from this. I've still got a long way to go. Uh, I now immediately can't draw again for obvious reasons, but uh, you know, we'll see how I feel after another six weeks or so of recovery. And um, I may or may not need to get the third one, we'll see. Uh, I'm also looking into getting a uh, shoulder specialist for my back shoulder blade because just as much as this has been a problem, this has been a problem too. But I don't know what is the problem with it specifically. This I know is tendonitis. Um, but as far as my shoulder blade issue, I have no idea. I'm going to be getting in March uh, fluoroscopic MRI where they like inject you with dye and then they do an x-ray and stuff. It's not pleasant, but I have to do it. And then I'm going to be seeing a shoulder specialist at the same clinic where I got this procedure done. Uh, so thankfully, the place I'm going to seems to have people that are all specialized in what I need help with. So I just got to stay the course and hopefully, uh, you know, later in the year, I will be able to get back to doing what I love to do, which is drawing and animating cool stuff for you guys. Um, while I have y'all, I wanted to also talk about uh, just what I can give back to y'all in the meantime. Um, on my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Kerbifer, um, the, uh, the $10 tier, uh, for rewards, um, those of you who don't know, I had to change this because I was doing a monthly giveaway, uh, a one, a, a single character drawing to one person who is a $10 tier, uh, patron member. And, uh, it would be randomly chosen like a raffle winner basically every month. And uh, I had to stop that for obvious reasons again. So what I did to uh, supplement that instead is that's when I started my Discord server and it's specifically for uh, $10 patrons and stuff. So um, I have to, to basically fill in the reward that I can't give of uh, the, um, the raffle drawings is I've been trying to do monthly Q and A streams or not streams, but uh, uh, chats like in the discord server, like privately for just fans that are in there. And um, the last couple that I've tried to coordinate uh, since the year started have had very few people in there, even like among all the folks that are in the server. And uh, cause it's been difficult to coordinate like a time and a day uh, like and get responses from people on like what's convenient. Um, so, cause I want to be able to have as many people in there as possible to talk to. Um, to, you know, make it worth your while to be supporting me that much money every month. But um, I don't know quite what else to do about that. So, uh, and in addition, if there's anything else that I can do uh, that would help, you know, make it, I, I want to continue to have the server um, be part of the $10 reward for people going forward, even if I'm able to continue, you know, drawing again, hopefully. Um, but I, I don't know. I just want to do more. I don't want to feel like people aren't getting anything out of, you know, their monetary support for me. I appreciate the support no matter what. Um, but I don't want to feel like, you know, I don't want you guys to feel like I'm not doing anything in return for you. Um, so if you have suggestions, whether you're a patron or otherwise, please let me know, you know, let me know your thoughts. Um, and, uh, otherwise I'm going to continue to do, you know, what I've already been doing. I'm trying to start, uh, doing more interviews as well. I'm not, uh, I don't think I'm going to do Voice October anymore starting this year. I think I'm just going to start interviewing voice actors and other people in general, um, just month to month on things. 
and uh, and just try to go from there. And uh, what one of the things that I'm opening up for people, uh, even if they're as low as a one dollar patron, is uh, to be able to ask questions to whoever my guests are. So I had one person write in for a question on the Saffron Henderson interview that I just did a little while ago. And uh, so that's one thing, you know, just to uh, give another little tiny thing, you know, back to y'all. And uh, I'm still going to do at least one curb blog per month, um, you know, uh, voted by the three dollar uh, tier and up uh, patrons as well. And if I feel like doing a bonus one, if I want to like review something or talk about something else that's relevant, maybe I'll do one about the Pokemon Direct uh, that has probably already uh, come out by this point. Who knows? Um, but you know, just trying to do as much as I can. I would love to be doing more. Um, but uh, I hope that the content I've been putting out the last several months since not being able to draw much has been interesting. I do have some cool stuff that I'm working on that's going to be coming out over the following months. Uh, one thing that's sort of a celebration of the 20th uh, anniversary of TTA, which is this year. It's turning 20 this year, which is crazy. And uh, I'm also collaborating with another YouTube channel on something very cool that uh, I'm in the midst of researching for, and I'll leave it at that. But uh, yeah, so that's it. I uh, just wanted to give a little update for y'all on what's going on. So feeling hopeful, wanted to give more back to y'all and still keeping at it with other cool stuff. So stay tuned. Let me know your thoughts on things and I'll talk to y'all later. So take care. Bye. God, it's gross. These all these band-aids. Anyway, thanks folks. Bye.